Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. I'm so tired of Donald Trump. And, and you know, I just, what do we got, 38 days? Yeah. 38 days? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oy, oy, oy. I, and I... then after that, Donald Trump's going to have to sell a lot of NFTs and crypto because, you know, these defense lawyers don't pay for themselves, Stephanie. Have we really even talked about how Donald Trump's going to make a living once he can't fleece <laughs> these rubes anymore? Oh I mean, oh how is he going to pay for his defense attorneys once Lara can't skeeve your donations away? <laughs> It's true. Um, can I just say, I we need more male allies like you. Because I know I keep yeah. hearing pollsters go, oh, it's men. Kamala Harris, you know, the women's That's right, female ladies. Gap. I'm an ally. But, you, you, you cupcakes can sit tight and let a man take listen. over because I'm a feminist ally. <laughs> okay, listen. Yeah. I leave the seat that. down in the men's room, ladies. That's how feminist <laughs> I am. Just let me do the talking. I'm an ally. <laughs> you defended the uh, uh, Vice President Harris from, what's his name? What's his douche? Football coach, somebody? Tony oh, Dungy. Yeah. Tony, uh, Dungy yeah. He's like, dear VP Harris, I hear you make this statement all the time. Exactly what faith are you talking about when you say you don't have to abandon it to support abortion, blah, 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 blah. And you just said, let's discuss this smug, condescending, and possibly blasphemous post, because if one voted for Trump when he promised to bring back torture and turn away war refugees, one doesn't really get to pretend they care about what Jesus says. Nobody supports abortion, coach. We support men not being the ones to make that choice for women. The Bible, Judaism, and Jesus never ban abortion or condemn people who have abortions that's why they're legal and free in israel right now um and you just uh, uh you, t- yeah, you know, quote a, the bible a, a as you do the stuff it it's actually says yeah 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 I, and i want to apologize i said no one supports abortion we we support men not making that choice for women uh, let me apologize liz winstead supports abortion uh liz winstead is 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 pro-abortion uh so i want to get that out there as well <laughs> You uh, you said Jesus did oppose the death penalty, he condemned adultery and divorce uh, Trump fans, not abortion or LGBT people. Kamala Harris is right. The government, certainly not Trump, should be telling a woman what to do with her body. Um, we were, yeah, I mean, they're we legal and the, free in Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, we also were talking about the, the guy that I executed that was innocent. Yep. And you tweeted, uh, Christ shows up in the Gospels, overturns eye for the eye in his first public appearance. He later stops an execution, says only the sinless may execute, commands us to forgive 70 times 7, says we'll be judged by how we treat the jailed, not a yep. kill the sinner kind of guy. Um, because you were responding to someone saying Christ instituted the death penalty. No. I mean, yeah, we, I well, mean, it's there, insane. Go ahead. Like, like, well, I mean, that's the whole Sermon on the Mount is Jesus, you know, starting off his new covenant, right? It's the only, the only kind of catchphrase Jesus has is when he says, you have heard it said, but I say unto you. You have heard it said, but I say unto you. Yeah. You've heard it said an eye for an eye, but I say unto you. And he overturns it. Uh, He ends retributive justice in the Sermon on the Mount. Now, um, Trump Christians have never read the Bible or the Jesus parts, and if they have, they've rejected it. So again, the Bible's not pro-abortion, but it's never once anti-abortion. Judaism does not ban it, and that's why they are legal and free in Israel right now. And so Jesus has the whole book to come out and say, oh, by the way, I want to overturn that. He overturns the death penalty. He overturns the divorce laws. He, he, Jesus overturns so many laws about women. He breaks the law by teaching women, breaks the law by talking to women and letting them talk yeah. to him. He breaks the law by letting you know, ritually unclean women touch him. But he never comes out and says, oh, by the way, abortion's wrong. But he does come out against the death penalty. So I'm not saying anything. This is what Jesus actually says in the book these guys pretend There's to follow. So much misinfo- you don't get to kill people in the government. Jesus yeah. never says the government should force people to be pregnant against their will, and he never says the government should strap a guy to a table and inject him with poison till he's dead. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, there's so much misinformation about the Bible out there. I, I, someone needs to write a book called Separation of Church and Hate. Oh, dear. Someone yeah. did. <laughs> John Fuel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone's out in Santa Monica doing rewrites in an isolation chamber all week. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I want to read a couple other things you said. The Bible and Jesus never command the government to force people to be pregnant against their will. Never commands us to incarcerate women who end pregnancies or the people who help them. Never says should we, we should force rape victims to be pregnant by other rapists. Not to mention the fact when it comes to killing actual children, God is the least pro-life character in the Bible. Um, yeah. I, Boy, wait till these Gentiles hear about Passover. They're going to be furious at the lack of respect for life. <laughs> You just, you do. You keep fighting the good fight, and this is part of why we're going to take back God, take back the flag, take back America. That sounds familiar. November 5th. Yeah. All right, John, it's going to be 113 
degrees in Phoenix tomorrow. In the shade, I don't sure. In the shade, I'm not sure Phoenix ladies can take that kind of heat and the heat that John Fugelstein brings. No, I'm packing, absolutely. Let me also uh, uh, plug away. Uh, next week, I'll be doing Stephanie Rule's show, but on oh. Saturday, October 5th, I, they, they've been trying to get me to do a, a Kamala fundraising show in New York City. I'm finally hosting Comics for Kamala at Stand Up New York at their new Yay. location, and I've got a great, big, brown, gay Muslim show with Nagin Farsad <laughs> and Mehran Kagani and Chuck Nice, Leanne Lord, Calvin Cato, some of the funniest comics. I'm the only lame white guy on the whole bill. And that's go to comicsforkamala.com, Stand right. Up New York on West 46th Street next Saturday the 5th. But that's after we destroy Phoenix this weekend. Phoenix yes. tomorrow, and then Kansas City, October 12th, and then the big one. Hey, the big one yes. in uh, Los Angeles with Martin Sheen, Mark Hamill, Adam Schiff. We're still going on that one, sexyliberal.com. Yes. We're going to burn Phoenix to the ground. It'll be all ash, and then it will rise from the ashes. Yes. Well, election season is a sweet time of the year, right? As candidates coat their messages with lots of sugar to get your vote. I said that. Now you can enjoy the sweetness of the election with authentic candidate cookies with the likeness of Kamala and Donald on your favorite butter cookie made by the famous deli in Chicago, Max and Benny's. You can purchase these once-in-a-lifetime cookies on the Stephanie Miller, Tom Harmon, and John Fugelsang websites. To order, go to our websites, click on the banner for cookie candidates, or go directly to their website, cookiecandidates.com.